Hi, I'm Meredith Hodges, and welcome to the Lucky Three Ranch Training Tips. Training donkeys need not be any different than training other equines. My entire Training Mules and Donkeys series is broken down into small enough logical and sequential steps to assure positive results. The exercises are simple and provide purpose for your donkey. The key is to always be polite, respectful, considerate, and consistent at all times. Equip your donkey in our elbow pull self-correcting restraint with an egg butt snaffle bit and a lightweight saddle or surcingle to make sure good posture is maintained during the exercises. This will ensure correct symmetrical core muscle strength development for adequate skeletal support. Begin with structured leading exercises in the hourglass pattern with strategic halts and squaring up between the corner cones and the gate cones. Change leading sides to stay to the inside of the arcs in the pattern. Reward with crimped oats, nothing else, and wait for your donkey to stop chewing before proceeding forward again. Keep the donkey's head at your shoulder. Lead with the lead rope in your left hand when tracking left and in your right hand when tracking right. Always stay to the inside of each arc. Point in the direction of travel. Walk in sync with your donkey's front legs. And if needed, hook your thumb on the lead rope with your pointing hand to give a short tug forward to keep him walking forward. When you want to halt, say, and whoa, then stop with your feet together. Set the donkey up four square with equal weight over all four feet and reward. When he is standing well at the halt, you can ask him to stretch down for his reward. Stand absolutely still while he chews. Patience, clarity, and consistency are key. You can add variety to the exercises by having ground rails in the center of the hourglass pattern between the gate cones. Just proceed carefully for the initial introduction. Doing these exercises in the predictable hourglass pattern will help your donkey to remain calm, make the exercise purposeful, and will facilitate good posture for symmetrical muscle development at the deepest level. It generally takes three to six months of these flat work leading exercises to develop core muscle strength in a strong, symmetrical, and balanced posture. When your donkey is doing these exercises easily, you can add obstacles to integrate coordination to your donkey's postural exercises. Break the obstacles down into small steps to stabilize the balance at every phase of the obstacle. Stabilization can take another three to six months, so be patient, take your time, and be willing to reward honest attempts. When your donkey can do all of these leading exercises without any resistance at all, you are ready to graduate to the round pen and teach your donkey to lunge. Don't worry about the gait when first beginning. If it's the walk, that's fine. The trot is fine too. Just add verbal commands to what your donkey is doing and don't wait too long to halt, square up, and reward, frequently at first. Then you can ask for more rotations before halting your donkey as your donkey begins to move more freely forward. You can even lunge two animals at once, as it can often help a novice donkey to learn what to do. Do not ask for the canter until he is offered the canter first, as he will when he gets strong enough to sustain it for a few strides. When he does, you can actually ask for the canter, but don't make him do it for too long in the beginning before he is stopped and rewarded. Always allow your donkey to come to a walk before asking for the reverse. Turn away from him and step in front, putting your whip gently in front of the shoulder. I do not like to do reverses on the drive lines in the beginning as donkeys will try to turn too sharply and double in the middle, but it's fine to do them while lunging freely. 
Teach your donkey to lunge in the round pen by tying the lunge line to the bit ring on one side, tying a knot, and then run the excess under the chin to the ring on the other side. When lunging, give a short squeeze release as the outside front leg comes into suspension. When you finally move into the open area, you will use this cue to keep him on the circle around you. If he pulls away and runs off, just call him back, give him a reward for returning, and resume the lesson. Practice ground driving in the round pen before moving into the open arena. Go left, go right, and do S turns through the middle. Then do a halt and a rein back. Only ask for one step at first and build up to more steps as he understands what you are asking. To avoid runaways on the drive lines, use an assistant at your donkey's head to walk with him as you ground drive from behind. Eventually, you'll be able to fade out the assistant and ground drive him alone. This foundation will give your donkey the strength and confidence he needs to perform well and be light in the bridle when you finally ride or drive.